How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Black Bart Gaming and welcome back to another Lost Ark video. And in this video we're going to be talking about Hildebrandt Palace. This is the last Abyssal Dungeon that you'll do before you enter to Tier 2. And I want to do this one just a little bit different because I notice a lot of players are usually specifically looking for the one-shot mechanics. And I'm going to fast forward it past the one like the non one shot mechanics areas just like the telegraph stuff and the normal stuff and then slow it down whenever we do the actual one shot mechanics in the game so hopefully that is good let me know what you guys think about this format and if you would prefer me to continue to do it like this uh, but with that said guys don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel and let's get into the um the boss fights of this so let's actually go over the mirror mechanic and this is the actual only dangerous mechanic for this boss fight in my opinion. So first we see a wave spawn from the south and we can see in the bottom left corner, I barely looked at it for a second but it's like a dark blue mirror and we can see from the northern part on the right there's a mirror that matches the color. So we're going to take that mirror. Now we know that it's going to spawn from the east or the west the wave. It will never spawn again from the north or the south during this one phase. So we center ourselves and then we look and we see two golden mirrors. And I immediately run to the east and go pick up the golden mirror. So now visually on the screen, you should see that there's a gold in the middle, a gold on the right from where the wave spawned. Just run over there and pick it up. Boom. And then you immediately look at both sides. It doesn't matter what side it comes from. Just look for two corresponding colors. We saw white at the top. We click white at the bottom and boom. Just like that, you were able to finish the boss, at least her one shot mechanics. And now this is just a finish on through fighter and you move on to the next room. No problem so now we're on to the next phase and what we're going to be talking about is the pinball phase that's why i call it um and while it's not necessarily a one-shot mechanic this will kill your team if you do not like do it fast enough because eventually you will just get overwhelmed so um basically what happens is she will tilt the arena to the left and there will be like saw blades at the bottom and rolling boulders will fall from the top and roll down and hit you what you need to do in this phase is actually pretty simple. You need to walk next to the boss when the meteor spawns on you. Now, the indicator will have like this reddish aura circling you. All you need to do is have it land near her or on her. It doesn't have to be like perfect, but you just need to uh, land it on her. Once you do that, it'll break uh, that phase and it'll return the arena back to a normal state in which you have to do it one more additional time and then you're pretty much good to go now i don't know how any of you guys are super armors outside of the paladins because that's one playing paladin but if you use the executioners of justice spin and you have it on you you can just use that right next to her you'll be immune to the boulders knocking you up and you can easily have it land on her that's what i personally do to just guarantee it um, because i'm a little slower as a paladin but if you're a little bit more mobile uh, you probably won't need to do that outside of that the only other mechanic i could think of that is kind of one shotty or could be dangerous is the the fear bubbles that she put your allies in all you have to do is just melee them a little bit and you'll break them out and it'll avoid a lot of damage for your teammates but this is the only dangerous mechanic in this phase in my opinion and let's move on to the next one so next we're gonna go into the final phase and i think this is probably the hardest for most players we're gonna talk about her two separate one shot phases she has four but they're two that are like pretty much the same so at the end of her 35th health bar and her 26th health bar she will go into a phase where she is protected inside of a shield and the demon guy the elemental fire guy will slam his fist down and start to like crush her and if the shield breaks before you break it it will one shot the entire raid and you will have to start over please keep in mind whenever she goes into her first version of this she will always be where she's standing and that's where the uh the mechanic occurs where she's physically standing 
On the second one though, she will always teleport to the middle. So make sure you're centered towards the middle uh, when you're doing this mechanic. So the way you're gonna break this shield is you're gonna have to use things that give stagger. I'm gonna have a few abilities that could be useful for paladins when it comes to stagger. You're, you're gonna have to look at your own individual class and see what gives the best stagger, but you're gonna have to stagger her. So personally, I like to lead with ultimate and then I usually spin and then I use grenades. Grenades are actually really important. It has a lot of stagger. So if you do have grenades or some grenade boxes on you, keep those on hand at all times, I think. And yeah, you throw grenades and you hit them with all your staggers and you do the best you can to break it. Around the 36 health bar, I tried to slow down on using my abilities that requires a lot of stagger because I want to make sure I have it ready for whenever this phase comes because you need to do it or you die. Outside of that, this is purely a stagger check. Grenades is going to be your best friends. Ultimates is going to be your best friends. And just positioning and making sure you're intimately aware of your cooldowns. Besides that, you're going to just DPS her until you get to about the 26 health bar. And again, I would slow down on DPS and rinse repeat, do it again. Now, if you can coordinate with your team to save ultimates for this one phase, it probably wouldn't be bad. Um, but you're just gonna have to stagger it and get it broken. That's pretty much all you can do. Now let's talk about the last one shot mechanic and keep in mind that every player needs to be alive during this phase or you will not beat it. So what's gonna happen is one player is going to get orbs over their head. It'll be like three little empty orbs. What the player needs to do is just stand where they are. I mean, you can move around. You don't have to stand still, but you need to stand still eventually uh, to a place that's fairly clear for your allies to look at you three players will get like this line coming out of their face it looks like like a light or something and they need to just visually look at you that's it a good tip that i can provide is to click um, a little bit away from the ally that you're look, supposed to look at and then right click towards them that in my opinion is probably going to be the easiest way to look at the person now don't panic if you don't see the orbs immediately come up what's going to happen is it waits until like the meteor phase actually starts to come out before the orb applies and what happens is you'll see the three orbs and once the three orbs appear you run because there's a meteor that will come down and one shot anyone within the blast radius after that you're going to fight her you're going to get down to the eighth bar i believe now this time one of the players is going to get a circle attached to them instead of look having to look at them with a line so all the person with the circle has to do is turn away from the party and walk to a fairly clear location and don't move that's your only job walk a little bit away from the party so that we can see it and don't move then the player who has the orbs over their head just walk to the center of it and then two players look at that player just like how you did in the previous phase now i had a question that i wasn't sure about and when I went back and watched the video, I still am not exactly sure, and I'm sure you guys are gonna ask, is if the light streams have to cross. The first time we didn't we didn't have like it crossed out, like how it, it visually looks. It wasn't in a cross formation, and we were able to complete it. But the second time we were in a cross formation, and that was purely because of my positioning, but it also worked that way. So unfortunately, I can't give you a concrete answer on this but it looks like it doesn't matter, but don't quote me on this one. Um, outside of that, so guys, that's pretty much it for this boss fight. You're just gonna finish out on just killing her, and then you've completed probably the hardest tier one Abyss dungeon in the game. Now, with that said, guys, I really hope this helped. Let me know again about this format, if you like this better. Um, don't forget to like as well as subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next Lost Ark video. Later.